Hey y'all, I'm Ashley and this is Ashley's Closet. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So I know it's been a little while since I've done a video. I apologize for that. Um, I just hadn't had anything worth showing and I'm not one of those just to make a video just to make a video. Um, but I've got a bag. Today's gonna be about a ba bag and it is a fry bag. And um, I know I've got a couple of videos on the Fry Company. Um, if you're not familiar with the Fry Company, it's F-R-Y-E. Um, they are around 150, 155 year old company based out of Massachusetts. Um, they originally started making boots for soldiers in the Civil War. Um, and over the decades have branched out into different style boots, shoes, sneakers, um, wallets, handbags, and accessories. So anyway, um, today's video is going to be on the Melissa satchel. And I have had a love-hate relationship with this bag. More love than hate. And I'm really trying to remember why, where the hate comes from not hate that's a strong word but dislike um, because and why I say that is because I bought it and then took it back and then bought it and then took it back and then bought it again um, and then I've kept it this time um, but let me go ahead and show it to you okay so here is mine this is in the color cognac And it really is a good size. It is a, I would say, true medium um, as far as size goes. It's easy to carry. You've got the decent strap drop um, here. I mostly carry it over the crook of my arm, uh, but I do keep the strap on to wear a long shoulder if I want to, or I have thrown it crossbody. I just really like the Melissa leather. It, comes with that already broken look and then it just gets softer as you use it like you can tell you know that i've really been using using this bag um i don't really i mean i guess maybe it could be considered a little heavy i mean i guess for an all leather bag there's going to be some weight to it and then of course i as i've gotten older tend to fill my bags with more more things but Nonetheless, I really like this bag. I like it a lot. Of course, I like any of Fry's products. I've got several pairs of their shoes and sneakers. Um, and then I've got, I think this is my third bag. I've got two crossbody bags and then I've got this bag. Um, I couldn't decide between the beige and the cognac, um, but I just, cognac is just true, traditional Fry. It's kind of what I, I gravitate towards. Um, but I think beige would be great for spring and summer, although any of the colors could be worn to me any time of the year. But, I mean, that's just personal choice. But anyways, if you have not, I mean, there's a lot of QVC videos on this bag and other fry products, but I just thought I would kind of do my own review. There's not a whole lot of just personal reviews on fry, period, I guess, especially their bags and then more specifically on this Melissa Satchel. But anyway, you can see where I've added, you know, some um, scratches. I think Gracie Bell jumped up right there on me. It's got the Fry Double F logo right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to angle that a little for you. This one is relatively smooth all the way. Um, there's a little bit of wrinkling on this end right here, but it's minimal. It's not. It's not anything ugly to me, but that's one thing that I love about Fry is they are full grain. They don't specify whether they are veg tanned or chrome tanned. And you know, some of the things make me think that they may be veg tanned, but then other things make me think that they may be chrome tanned. Um, I've heard with chrome tanning, you can't really um, burnish the edges, but the, the, like the open raw part of the leather, but 
the edges of this almost appear to have some glazing or burnishing to some degree. Um, but as soft and malleable as it is, kind of makes me think that it might be chrome tan. So I don't really know. So if you're really picky about that, you might could find out, maybe call Fry and ask. Um, I don't have a preference. I'm okay either way. Um, I used to be veg tanned or not at all, but I've since um, figured out that chrome has its perks too. Um, so anyway, they both have their pros and cons, but I like on this specific bag that the logo is a little darker than the bag itself. I really like that. Um, on the buttons right here, it's got fry at the top and the bottom of each, each button on the bag. You can remove the strap and this is what I believe they call a gator claw it's not a dog leash style but a gator claw and also you won't be able to see it but fry is um right there as well on both sides of the buckle i really like when companies um inscribe their names on the metal i just think that's an extra added touch that dooney and burke could maybe do along with Fry and Michael Kors and Coach. Um, I will, I mean, you already know what I carry in here, but I'll empty it out so that you can see. My hobo case, I've had a couple of people over the um, videos ask me who makes this. This is by Hobo the Original, and it's got two ends. So I've got my readers in one end and then my sunnies in the other, and they are still on the website. I've got my Michael Kors uh, Misty Rose Sapiano Jet Set wallet. I love that wallet. Keys. Mask. A dealer's receipt. Sanitizer. My little note, notepad in case I need to write anything down. Do any jotting, quick jotting. I've got my, um, excuse me, my nose was itching. My um, Portland Leather Goods Small Eclipse. And you know what's in there. I'm not going to go into all that. And lastly, I've got my Jesus Calling, my daily um, devotional. I don't really go into politics or religion on, on my channel, but I am a Christian and my mother gave me this for Christmas in 2016. Any of my um, YouTube family that are Christian, um, this is a really good devotional, Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, and there are several different versions of this. Uh, and that's it. Okay, so it's empty. So you've got a back zip pocket. I don't know how well you can see, but there's a back zip here. And then on the front wall here, you've got two slips, just slips. And then you have a um, key leash as well that um, matches the outside hardware. And I just, I mean, you know, I still had plenty of room in here. Um, I could have fit, you know, any, several other items in here in addition to what I already had in here, but that's just what I carry on a daily basis. Um, I like this bag because it is soft and malleable, yet it still holds its structure for the most part. Now, it may continue to soften more because I've only, I've only been using it for a couple of weeks now, but um, but it doesn't just puddle to the ground and I will let me put everything back in here and then I will stand up and put it on now it is Halloween so nobody will watch this video until tomorrow but um, I hope everyone has had a good Halloween we didn't do anything other than last night we took um, our two nieces Bree and Sophie Ray trick-or-treating their parents were out of town for the weekend so um, the grandparents i'm sorry y'all there's a kid outside um spent the night with them and watched them grace stop and um so we took them 
She acts like she has never seen a person before. Grace, stop. And please excuse me. Um, it's Sunday. It's Halloween. Gracie, stop. I've already gotten comfortable, but I did want to point out my t-shirt. This is my favorite Halloween shirt. Um, I wear it every year for Halloween. I love it. Please excuse Gracie. Um, okay, and I'm in jammy bottoms, by the way, but it's whatever. We've known each other long enough now that it doesn't really matter. And I'm in my slippers. <laughs> okay, so here it is on me. This is how I carry it mostly. Or, you know, sometimes I'll just hold it like this if I'm walking somewhere. Um, I have also worn it like this before just to kind of throw it over my shoulder. And I've also just, if I really needed both hands free, I'll, I'll throw it like this and, and it's okay like this too. But it's just comfortable. It's soft. It softens up. Um, it's just a good size to hold whatever, whatever you need. It's a comfortable, easy carry. Comes in a wide array of colors. Um, you can get, let's see, cognac, dark brown, greasy. Hold on. Let's see, dark gray, a uh, dark gray. This is Gracie Bell, by the way. Gracie Bell, mm, she's terrible. Um, dark brown, cognac, beige, and then they've had some seasonal colors like a dark pine green, like a peachy color, kind of like a toasted marshmallow color, like parchment or sand, something to that effect. Um, anyway, so uh, like a slate gray, a light gray. So they come in different colors. You can, you can do some research if there's something other than like the core colors, like dark brown, cognac or beige, if you wanted something different. But um, anyways, I, I don't know why I've never introduced y'all to Gracie Bell. This is our little girl. I know you've seen her poking around in the background of my videos, but this is Gracie Bell. She is 11 years old, and she is our pride and joy. So, anyways, um, if you have any questions about the bag, let me know in the comments below. I hope y'all have had a happy Halloween, a safe and fun Halloween, and I will see you next time in Ashley's Closet. Bye, y'all. Say bye, Wayne. Bye-bye.